Boom Shakalaka, after suspected Bitcoin price manipulation and subsequent crash around the spot ETF approval, here is what's likely going to really happen and why you are going to be exceptionally shocked. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including what really happened around the spot ETF approval and subsequent crash and why you are likely going to be shocked when the market does what it really will do. Before we get into it, guys, like the video. It helps out so much. Also, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Now, today, fear and greed down to 60 from yesterday's 64. It has been dropping since last week, pretty much as soon as the ETF was approved. Fear and greed has been dropping. The overall market continuing sideways. Take a look at this for pretty much a whole week sideways. Bitcoin at 42,660, Ethereum at 2541, BNB at 309, Solana $99, XRP 56 cents, Cardano 53 cents, Avalanche $35, and Dogecoin 8 cents. And Bitcoin, as you can see right here, price is hovering on the 50 day moving average. The last time price broke below the 50 day moving average, this red bar pattern is exactly what it did which would bring price down to the 40,000 by halfing line roughly by the end of February. But until that happens, we are in this little wedge right here set to break out on Pi Day, March 14th. So could have some sideways price action until then. Now, last Friday was the largest one single day drop in Bitcoin's price since the FTX collapse back in November. Oh my goodness, since pretty much the bottom, this was the largest price collapse. And why? Well, Bitcoin encountered some very significant resistance. The three month, the six month, the nine month, the 12 month, all of these top body candles was all resistance at $47,000. And that's what Bitcoin hit and was rejected on the first time falling back down to support at roughly $42,000, $43,000, where roughly 1.11 million Bitcoin were bought in that area and have not yet been sold, making this a very strong support wall. Hopefully, it will hold. But a lot of people are saying, nay, it shan't hold. Okay? I don't, I don't know what they're saying. But a lot of people right now, the bears are back in force. As soon as Bitcoin pauses pretty much all up territory, bears are like, this is it, going down to 30, 33, 35, whatever it may be. Now, why? Well, first thing we have is anytime there's good news for Bitcoin, it's pretty much a top. If we take a look at here... CME Bitcoin futures launch, that was the top. Coinbase IPO launch, that was the top. Bito CME ETF launch, that was the top. ETF trading begins, the top, huh? The bad news, however, is generally the bottom. FTX collapse, the bottom. Silicon Valley Bank collapse, the bottom. SEC declares 61 altcoin securities, the bottom. Now, what is the difference? Well, if we take a look here, yes, CME futures launch, that was a top. Yes, Coinbase IPO launch, that was a top. But if we take a look at the Pi Cycle Top Indicator, it did call the futures launch. It did call the Coinbase IPO launch. But the top right here, it did not call. And guess what? Where we are right now? Not calling a top either. So it may just be we need a little bit more time. Yet the bears won't relent because they're saying, hey, generally when Bitcoin price goes up, there's a pullback to the 6.81 FIB, which is 22 to 28% drop in price. Now, right now, based on the run we have had, this would put a price all the way down to 33500 Quite a drop from where we are significantly. Also, after touching the top of the Ichimoku red cloud, generally, there is a pullback. This has been mid-cycle top territory before price pullback. Again, we would likely have, we hit that territory, well, time for price pullback. Mid-cycle top has happened. And also, if we take a look at the magic bands, Every time we hit the blue center band, which we hit right at 49,000, generally price falls back to the blue line right now, 32,395. So a lot of projections saying, hey, going into the low 30s. And Willie Wu, based on his charts, has says Bitcoin will never break below 30 again. So we have a lot of things suggesting price could be headed there. But will it? Well, the first level outside of just these trend lines that we have, first one right here at 41,000, and then right now, the 100-day moving average at 38000 Well, the first line to keep a lookout for would be short-term holder cost basis. Right now, $37,800. We would have to break through there, where the short-term holders, people holding less than six months, that's basically what they bought Bitcoin at. 
also you have to consider that we are in the time period where the liquidity cycle is expected to accelerate for this year and next year, 2024 and 2025. You can see here, based on this, we are at the very bottom of the trend. We would expect some acceleration in liquidity. With this, money comes flowing into assets like Bitcoin. If we take a look at the People's Bank of China liquidity injections, they have been injecting a lot of capital into the markets. Could be time for that to flow into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And even if you believe that Bitcoin has cycles, I mean, it's had cycles up until now, but clearly this time is different, right? Well, if you do believe cycles, every time the Bitcoin drawdown hits roughly 35%, guess what? There's another all-time high before it drops once again. So this would be suggesting we would be headed for another all-time high, not going back to roughly 30-ish thousand dollars end. If you believe anything in terms of long-term rare trends, Bitcoin had its first ever weekly golden cross, which I don't know if that means much, but the last time you can get close to a golden cross, Bitcoin did 100x. So we could have a historic, folkloric, massive rally coming for Bitcoin, even on the stock to flow and power law scarcity model, suggesting roughly half a million dollars per Bitcoin this halving not even the next one, this halving. And if you want to take a look at some rainbow lines right here into the cryptoverse, just released this. And based on the log regression rainbow that Bitcoin has been in, depending upon how well we do, could be seeing anywhere between very low 16,000, so maybe you might lose half of your money investing in Bitcoin right now, all the way up to roughly $13.5 million per Bitcoin. So things could get kind of exciting. But that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.